All right, homesteader family. So I went ahead, I got, uh, I want to say about two thirds of the dam uh, spillway completed. So what I'm going to do, I still have more concrete underneath here. I'm going to come out to about right here with the cinder blocks and the concrete. And then it will go to the black four inch PVC pipe. So I'm going to have to go to the store, get more P PVC pipe so I can finish that tomorrow. But basically, this is how it looks. You can see the walls are taller on both sides and it goes narrow and narrower until it gets to the pond. And then eventually, I'll go ahead and fill all these tubes with concrete. I'll put a rebar and screen across and then concrete on top of that so I can overfill with dirt. And then what I want to do is backfill this with dirt, fill all that with dirt, and then that way the dam is higher all the way across. So once I do that, I fill that up, fill this side up, then all the water will come right in here. It come down and I'll have three PVC uh, four inch uh, pipe next to each other, three in a row, and the three will go across. And what I'm going to have to do is get some two by fours uh, for bracing across here until I can backfill this with dirt and rock because I want to raise this up and I want the PVC pipe to be as high as possible. So when I do the overshot water wheel, I have uh, more pressure and more pounds per square inch flowing from a higher, um, a higher, what you call it, higher elevation than a lower elevation. Because if I took the water all the way down, it doesn't give me much pressure. But if I can keep it way up here at about 15, maybe 16 feet, that will do a lot for me. So just want to show you what I got done today. I'll be back over here tomorrow to do some more. And I'll talk to you guys later. Live happy, live free. That's the only way to be.